The U.S. Postal Service is celebrating America's love affair with food by releasing the new limited edition Celebrity Chefs Forever stands, honoring five legendary chefs. And joining us now to help the U.S. Postal Service unveil the new Forever Stamps and help kick off the 2014 Chicago Gourmet event is Stephanie Eisard. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. And I should also note, we also know and love you from Top Chef. So, so excited to have you on the show this morning. And uh, this is interesting. Oh, thank tell you. Me about it's great these, to be here. Yeah. Tell me about these new stamps. Yeah, we are celebrating it. Today, these stamps are available, the Celebrity Chef Forever stamps. Um, I'm surrounded here by five pictures of amazing chefs who have really paved the path to where I am today. Um, you know, starting off with James Beard, I think that's a name that's very recognizable um, throughout households. But he was who brought us, you know, just simple foods like grilling out back and macaroni salad and things that we probably enjoy all summer long. Um, Felipe Rojas Lombardi brought Spanish cuisine and really tapas, which at my restaurant, Girl and the Goat, we love doing shared plates and small plates. So um, we can thank Chef Felipe for that. Joyce Chen bringing Chinese cuisine to America. Um, you know, beef and broccoli and hot and sour soup and things that now we just kind of order for dinner whenever we want them. She really brought that here. Uh, Edna Lewis, who brought fried chicken, biscuits, things that I'm drooling over standing here, um, brought that from the South to the rest of the country. And then Julia Child, of course, who, another name that we all recognize, one of the first women ever on TV, bringing French cuisine into the home kitchen, but doing it with a sense of humor, which I think is why I love her so much. Yeah, well, and it's interesting, being a chef, do you have chef role models? Like, you know, when did you get into cooking, and, and when do you start looking up to other chefs and trying to aspire to be, you know, what you eventually became. I do. I think that I don't just have one. I have so many. And I think it started when I was younger. I watched a lot of food TV. And I think seeing Julia Child and then there was Yank and Cook and other TV shows, my friends were watching, you know, cartoons or whatever they were watching. <laughs> and I was watching food TV and thinking, wow, I want to try to do that too. Yeah. So you can get the stamps today, right? Yes, at post offices nationwide or at USPS.com. Um, and for folks in Chicago, we can get them at Chicago Gourmet this weekend. So, yeah, run and get them there. Beautiful stamps um, and a great way to celebrate the cuisine and food and yeah. culture and chefs. So, it's what great. A, tell me a little bit about this gourmet event. That sounds delicious. Yeah, Chicago is celebrating at Chicago Gourmet this weekend, a huge food festival, food, wine, beer, chefs, fun, um, all outside. It's supposed to be beautiful this weekend, and the Postal Service picked the perfect time to celebrate these stamps. It really ties in for us. Yeah, awesome. All right, and they're forever stamps, so they're good, right? You don't have to, to buy additional stamps, you know, when you go to use them six months down the road. Yeah, exactly. They're limited edition, so you want to try to get them in before the holidays, before they run out, but they last forever. All right. Well, Stephanie, so nice to talk with you this morning. Any website or anything you need to send us to? Yeah, USPS.com is where you want to go to, to get these stamps today, and uh, yeah, they're available right now. All right. Now I'm ready to eat. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, of course, put all that info on our website, too, foxfromorningblend.com. Afraid to go to the dentist? No need. Up next, the pain-free way to perfect your pearly whites.